This is how you play a C-sharp minor arpeggio, two octaves, hands separate. Let's start with left hand. Since we need the first, third, and fifth note from the scale to get the arpeggio tones, that's going to be C-sharp, E, and G-sharp. Let's say our note names as we play our two octaves. One, two, three. C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp. C sharp, G sharp, E, C sharp, G sharp, E, C sharp. For our finger numbers, if you know the A flat major, F sharp minor, arpeggios, D flat major, E flat major, a lot of the black key majors with a white key in the middle, it's the same finger numbers. You're going to use your one in the middle, which places your two on the first black key. And since we know we want to use our two later on here, when we cross over, we're going to cross over with four so that our two lands there and we can start the whole thing all over again. So your fingers are going to go 2, 1, anchoring that white key with your 1, cross over with 4, and play 4, 2, 1, and cross over with 4 again, and play 4, 2. We don't have to go to 1 because we're going to stop at C sharp. Let's say our finger numbers as we play. One. Two, three, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, two, four, one, two, four, one, two. Now let's play with the metronome. We're just going to listen to make sure we're with the click instead of saying anything. One, two, three. Cross with four. Cross with four. Cross. Cross. Since we're warmed up on note names, when we switch to right hand, let's say our note names. Starting on C sharp by middle C. One, two, three. C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp. C sharp, G sharp, E, C sharp, G sharp, E, C sharp. If you know the finger numbers in the right hand for D flat major, E flat major, F sharp minor, A flat major, then the finger numbers are the same. Very similar to left hand, we're going to anchor that white key with our one finger, which would put our two on this G sharp and then our four on C sharp. So I'm going to flip my four over here since I know I'm going to end up on a four on C sharp later. And we're going to play four and then cross under and play one, two, four, and then cross under and play one, two, four. So aside from the crossover right at the beginning, it's just one, two, four. Let's say our finger numbers as we play. One, two, three, four, cross, one, two, four, cross, one, two, four, Hold, hold, four, two, cross with four, four, two, one, cross with four, four. Let's play with metronome. And as we play, and we're listening that we're with the click, focus on your technique. Your wrist should be constantly guiding your hand to the next spot that you're going to need to move. And you should be using your crossing and rotation instead of 
chicken winging your arm out. So as we play, keep that wrist moving and that'll help facilitate no chicken wing. One, two, three. Cross. Cross. Cross with four. Cross with four. And now let's see how exam ready we are by going double time. And remember, those crosses aren't vertical movements, they're horizontal movements. That'll help with speed. One, te, two, te, three, te. 